Platinum resistant and platinum refractory ovarian cancer is a disease of, uh, is an important unmet need as there are very limited treatment options for these patients. Bevacizumab in combination with chemotherapy is currently FDA approved uh, based on the Aurelia study which was done on patients uh, who had up to two prior lines of chemotherapy. Um, in patients with platinum resistant disease, PARP inhibitors have shown very limited activity as monotherapy. Um, in patients with BRCA mutated uh, platinum resistant disease, the objective response is 25 to 30 percent, which has led to their FDA approval. However, outside that setting, in the BRCA wild type platinum resistant disease, the objective response is only 5 percent. And in BRCA mutated platinum refractory patients, the objective response is only 0 to 14 percent. Uh, furthermore, if we look at PD-1 and PDL1 inhibitor therapy in ovarian cancer, the objective response rate has been more modest, with uh, uh, essentially in the, uh, around 10%, uh, irrespective of PDL1 status, and it's about 9.7% for Avalumab and 11% for Pembrolizumab. So the question of the Topasio study was whether combining those two agents we would be get we will be able to get better efficacy uh, in difficult to treat populations in ovarian cancer, spe specifically platinum resistant platinum refractory disease.